This question is clearly the hardest of the group, right? Um, if you get this, you've got a ramp problem. So let's talk about this. We've got a, a BMX rider who's on a ramp, and the ramp is at 40 degrees, and he is coming off, you know, his bicycle. Um, he's coming off at a speed of, what is it? In my case, 7.5 meters per second, right? And what's going to happen, of course, is he's going to land somewhere over here. But he's leaving. This height is uh, 2.4 meters. So he's, this is an uneven ground problem. I encourage you to watch video C again. We did an uneven problem. And the question is, is you know, this is x equal to 0. What is this x? What is his, we sometimes say, what is his range? How far does he travel after he shoots off here. Again, the same thing applies. You're going to write all the known x's and y's. So we know x1 is 0, x2 is question mark. That's, that's the big question we're trying to find the answer to. Uh, Vx, now this is, we need to talk about this. Uh, Ax is 0, and t equals question mark. You have to find the t. Uh, y equals y1 equals 2.4 meters, right? Y2 equals 0 meters. Vy is a number. We're going to plug that in. Ay is negative 9.8, and t equals whatever. And you're going to want to solve for t, but before we can solve for t, we have to know what Vx and Vy is. So we have to do some SOHCAHTOA stuff, right? And so if you think about this as a 40-degree angle, 7.5 is really the hypotenuse of your triangle. So use SOHCAHTOA to find the Vx. So this is Vx. This is the cosine, right, adjacent over hypotenuse. So you'd say cos of 40 equals Vx over 7.5. That's going to give you this number. And I would jot it down once you find that and put it here. The Vy is the same thing, except instead of cos, it'll be sine, because this is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Find that number. Got it? Then you're going to plug this in, and you're going to say, you know, y2 equals y1 plus vyt plus one-half vt squared. Now, um, y2 is 0 equals 2.4 plus... Now, you have to find the number. When you do this whole cosine sine thing, there's a number here times t, so you'll have to figure out what that is. Uh, minus 4.9t squared. Now, as a note, you now have a more complex problem. It isn't like it's super easy to solve this mathematically. There is a use a solver, or if you uh, learn how to do that, if you need some help on that. Um, and what you'll do is you're going to try and find what is, you know, and there, it's a quadratic problem. And so when you're doing a quadratic formula problem, you need, you'll have two roots, right? That's how it works. And only one's going to make sense. Typically, one of the numbers is a negative answer. You can't have a negative sign, and the other one's positive. And so you want to pick the other one. You could also plot this like on a Desmos, and you can find where the two roots are. You can set this equal to zero, where it's across the axis, and there'll be two places, and only one makes physics sense. That t becomes this t. Then that t gets plugged into here, and then you solve for x. You'll use the same equation, except in this case, of course, you'll know vx and t. But again, this term here in the x will cancel off, the uh, one-half gt squared, it'll cancel off because um, there's no acceleration because ax is zero, and that's how you can find the range. But the trick on this one is you have a quadratic formula problem here, and you've got a little sine-cosine ball game here too, so it's, it's, it's a little tricky, but it's, you can do it.